let's start out with the simple of everything. So I'm going to make a image um, and then go in and paste it somewhere on there. You can typically publish maps or oh, less everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, blog systems such as WordPress, um, your own web host if you have a web host. Um, the university has two possibilities. We have a web hotel where if you want a project website then you can have a project website there. And then we have a dedicated one which is maproom.org.uk which um, is being redesigned to be focused specifically on publishing external maps. It has been used both for internal and external things but we are now reorganizing so Maproom will be our external map website. So how do we do that? Well it's good old simple straight old-fashioned uh, QGIS, we will, I'll try and use the same data example for all of this. So I'll just use my Danish municipalities and I'll flick down and find attribute data for this also. Um, municipalities, yep. So our typical situation is that we have a table, a shape file or whatever with our spatial data in it and we will have a Excel spreadsheet or something else with our attribute data in. And the first thing of course we need to do is that we have to join the two together and this is something that's covered in our video so I'll just do it. Uh, join, get my data there, join it on the municipality code and that should be able to get over that one. And I will use a custom prefix. That's because it becomes very long if it says sheet something about. So let's call them attributes like that. So I'll have a little A in front of all my data from coming from Excel. So hopefully I've got my data in here. And this data set is data set we've been using many times here. So we have average income, sex ratio, and all these other things that we've been working with. And we'll just produce a map. So give it a style, use a gradiated. Uh, let's look on our average income. Uh, 10 categories. I always like quartiles. Oops. I said 10 didn't I and I don't want that coloring I want a nice red to green so red is low income blue blue is high income so fine and that is I guess what we expected and I'll just beef it up with some labels so labels, add labels and I'll just again there add my um, boop, 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 average income. So nothing fancy, um, just a quick map with some labels on it. I will create a layout, design I will add my map somewhere like that. Uh, that's a bit small, isn't it? Three. Mm, is that right? That looks right. And I'll just move it up in the data frame. So I've got there. And I will insert a legend and let find out also a scale bar. Um, nothing nice. I've already I won't use time making a nice layout. Just show you this is what we have. And of course the advantage of doing this compared to many other 
solution would be seeing is that you can do a nice layout. So it's a bit um, silly that I'm not using time on making a nice layout because this is really why we sometimes want to use this type of images on the web because here we can really work with the layout in QGIS. But um, for the sake of the demo, I'll just uh, save it and I'll quit. All right, that one. So I have now a little image file which should be on my uh, web map thing, web map, and here we have our image there. So nothing special or uh, ugly, as a matter of fact, um, but it's there. So put it on a website um, to demonstrate that I have uh, gone and created myself a free WordPress blog just because I thought blog might be a good thing to demonstrate. So uh, Rook GIS is this web course demo blog only for this specific purpose. Um, you can always create a free WordPress blog by going to wordpress.com. So that might, for many situations where you have a project work, just need to get something on the, on the web. Um, that is probably a very good way of doing it. So I now will add a, uh, a post on my WordPress blog. I'll say AQGIS map and some more text. And um, this is an example map, especially if I could spell. Um, so, and I can add some media, and I can upload a file, and I can, uh, oops, find my file from before. Do it. And oh, oops, didn't that, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drag it onto my website. Like that. And there was already one there because I've just tested that it will work. Uh, income, so I just call this one income two. And I will. I wonder if I can get rid, delete them here. No, never mind. I'll use this one and I'll insert it into my blog here. So it inserts a reference to my image. Uh, as you can see, a width and a height on it. Um, and we can change that if we want. So we just say publish. It's not going to be a big map, but it will work. And we can view our newly published uh, blog entry and here we have a little curious map this is an example map and if I click on it I can have it in a larger version so easy peasy uh, way of simply getting a map onto the web without having to do much just simply um, request a free WordPress blog and upload the media that um, has been outputted from um, the map designer. So that's the basic, the simple way of doing it. But it, you shouldn't neglect it because that is a way that will give you the best possibilities when, with orders to have a nice design and things like that. And also give you the ability to put texts and graphs and other things onto the same blog. So it might be simpler and old fashioned, but it also has quite a lot of qualities to it.